If there were poster critters for prehistoric monsters, Megalodon would certainly rank high on that list. Along with T-Rex, here's a beast that has captured our imaginations, and it tends to prove that size does indeed matter. Experts say this animal would have measured at least 60 feet long, that's about 18 meters, and weighed around 65 tons, or 59,000 kilograms. Since they existed between 23 million to about 2.5 million years ago, many of the creatures on our list upcoming did not coexist with these ancient sharks, but it's still interesting to speculate what if, or what might have happened, had they crossed paths. So, from the mighty Mosasaurus to the legendary Leviathan, here are 12 of the most potential dangerous enemies of the Megalodon. 12. A Biting Sperm Whale Now that is the common name for Brigmophyceta. This ancient marine mammal went about 7 meters long, or 23 feet, and existed until around 14 million years ago. They are an extinct genus of the sperm whale family, known to have had up to 12 teeth in the upper and lower jaws that is different from today's sperm whales. Now, experts say these animals were highly predatory and used the large teeth to consume other marine mammals, including whales. They were in fact specially adapted to take down larger prey. So no surprise that these animals were the apex predators in the habitat. As such, maybe they could have given Megalodon a decent workout. 11. Helicoprion This one ranks as one of the strangest animals ever found in the oceans. They were swimming around some 290 million years ago during the early Permian. Experts say that these shark-like fish could reach lengths approaching 40 feet to 12 meters. Its most notable physical trait is its unusual tooth whorl that could have measured about 24 inches long or 60 centimeters. It resembles a circular saw, hence its nickname spiral saw. But paleontologists still have not figured out exactly what it was used for. Some theories suggest that the animal would have used the flexible jaw and allowed it to lash forward like a whip as it targeted schools of fish or other prey, then retrieved the bounty it had impaled. Now, there's still a lot about this animal that is unknown, but it sure would have been interesting to see how Megalodon would have fared against an animal with such an unorthodox weapon. 10. Chronosaurus Named after Kronos, the leader of the Greek Titans, this carnivorous animal was a short-necked pliosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous. It was one of the largest of its kind, at more than 30 feet long or 9 meters, with a weight estimated at 11 metric tons, that's around 24,000 or more pounds. The marine reptile had four flippers and an elongated head, and that head, which measured some 9 feet long, had a mouth full of teeth that measured up to 11 inches long, or 28 centimeters. That's more than enough to shred its prey, which included turtles and plesiosaurs. Living until around 99 million years ago, the fossils have been found in Australia and in Colombia. 9. Dunkleosteus At 20 feet long, or 6 meters, armored and weighing over a ton, or 907 kilograms, this monster fish would have caught you, not the other way around. And bear in mind, some sources claim this critter was even bigger. Dunkleosteus lived around 360 million years ago, and it was considered to be a hyperconivorous apex predator. And that means it was at the top of the food chain and had a diet in excess of 70% meat. But the animal did not have any teeth. Instead, two pair of plates in its mouth formed a beak-like structure which could exert a powerful bite force. By some estimates, it could exert some 8,000 pounds or 3.6 metric tons per square inch of pressure upon its victims. Compared to Megalodon, this is kind of a smallish beast, but just think, if a school of these animals attacking with such a lethal bite force, well, maybe that would have been enough to severely damage a big brute like Megalodon. 8. Tylosaurus. Now here's a large, quick, and agile marine lizard that is a species of mosasaur. They could reach lengths of nearly 50 feet or 15 meters, and were recognized for the long cylindrical snouts. Now the snout may have served purposes of self-defense, 
or for use in combat and in stunning their prey. Maybe the tactic of using their long, eel-like bodies to suddenly shoot forward and overtake the prey would have posed a dilemma for Megalodon. After all, experts say these animals had a taste for everything from birds to marine reptiles to sharks. And some 75 million years ago, they would have been one of the most dominant predators found in the water. 7. Cretoxyrhina So, here is a scary prehistoric shark that is not named Megalodon. Although it predated the larger fish by millions of years, this critter doesn't have quite the same brand awareness. But while it was smaller, this beast seemed to be no less fearsome. Measuring up to 30 feet long, or 9 meters, it had a mouth full of knife-like teeth. Now, in fact, those teeth resemble the utensils so much that it has been nicknamed the Jinsu Shark. That's a reference to the Jinsu knives that were featured in late-night TV commercials cutting through metal cans. This animal's teeth had a thick coating of enamel that allowed it to slice through shell or bones as easily as it would flesh. In its time during the late Cretaceous, it would have been one of the deadliest predators in the water. 6. Sarcosuchus imperator Now this monster did resemble and is related to modern-day crocodiles, and it's one of the largest such reptiles that ever lived. It inhabited what is now South America and Africa around 112 million years ago, and its remains were first found in the Sahara. This prehistoric beast could weigh some 8 tons and measure about 39 feet long, or about 12 meters. That's about the size of a truck. And given that immense size, the animal likely preyed upon the dinosaurs of its time. Now admittedly, this one might be more of a stretch since crocs and sharks do not typically cross paths, but it has been known to happen. Could Megalodon have been taken out by this reptilian monster? 5. Mosasaurus This beast lived during the late Cretaceous around 66 million years ago, and it could have given Megalodon a run for its money. Mosasaurus measured some 60 feet long, or 18 meters, but it did give up some weight at an estimated 30,000 pounds, or more than 16,000 kilograms. They were able to take on prey from dinosaurs to sharks that it coexisted with. It used its huge conical teeth to clamp into prey and take them down. The fossils have been found worldwide, but their fame has become even more far-reaching thanks to the Jurassic World movies. Did you know that these fearsome carnivorous marine lizards are thought to be the ancestors of today's Komodo dragon? 4. Human beings. Well, it just didn't seem right to leave us off of this list, even though the big shark did go extinct around two and a half million years ago, or well, so we think anyway. But even though our paths would never cross, we still wondered how Homo sapiens might have fared against the mighty Megalodon. Well, we certainly would have posed a potential threat at the very least. Now, if you're looking at it from the standpoint of sheer physical power, the beast certainly would have taken us out in a heartbeat. But then again, you could say that about a lot of today's animals. Given the human imagination, though, and the propensity to band together and innovate as necessary, chances are humans would have figured out a way to effectively deal with that monster shark. So like it or not, those qualities have helped make us the dominant species on the planet. However, is that necessarily a good thing? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. 3. Predator X now, we've mentioned pliosaurs earlier, and they were essentially short-necked plesiosaurs known for the huge heads and large toothed jaws. They lived during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods and are identified as swimming reptiles, not as dinosaurs. Leopleurodon is among the best known of this lot, and they were carnivorous monsters that could grow upwards of 30 feet long. But in 2006, a massive pliosaur nicknamed Predator X was unearthed in Savalabar, Northway. Now, this beast was estimated at some 40 feet long or 12 meters and would have had a bite force at least four times as powerful as that of T-Rex. So no doubt, even Megalodon would have had to respect choppers like that. And FYI, Predator X was formerly named 
Ployosaurus funke in 2012. Two, Basilosaurus. During the 19th century, fossils of this immense animal were so commonly found in the U.S. that they were actually used as furniture. They're considered to be the ancestor of modern-day whales and porpoises, and these beasts could attain the size of a small ship going more than 60 feet long or 18 meters. They were known to have a long tail and flippers not unlike seals. Experts have calculated they also had quite a powerful bite force, around 3,600 pounds or 1.6 metric tons per square inch. The name Basilosaurus is actually Latin for king lizard, and that's a clue that they were initially misidentified as dinosaurs. It took until 2015 to find a complete skeleton. So, what do you think? Could Basilosaurus have posed a real threat to Megalodon? One, Leviathan Melvilli. If there was ever the chance for a real prehistoric monster smackdown, it would have happened with this beast. Because Megalodon and Leviathan Melvilli really did inhabit the oceans at the same time. Leviathan Melvilli is also known as Leviathan, and it was named for the huge sea monster mentioned in the Bible, as well as for the author of Moby Dick, Herman Melville. Those were logical namesakes indeed, since this creature was a marine mammal that was comparable in size to the present-day sperm whale. At nearly 60 feet long, or 18 meters, it had an estimated weight of around 50 tons, that's more than 45,000 kilograms, making it one of the largest apex predators of all time. And if you're excluding tusks, then this beast had the largest known tooth of any animal exceeding 14 inches long or 36 centimeters. Experts say there's a good chance that this monster and megalodon would have fought over similar food sources millions of years back. So who do you think would have won that battle?